back. Again, I want to give a shout out to Jeremy Crawford, who is the creator of the Sprinkles character. Check him out on IMDb and his turn in The Witcher is pretty awesome. Check that out. Uh, so I'm brushing up on my Maya rigging and Python scripting and please feel free. Uh, this is going to be me figuring things out, making tons of mistakes uh, and having a good old time. So if you see things that I'm doing that need that you know a better way of doing, you're like, oh, so, you know, amateur or you know, cringy, please leave a comment uh, in the spirit of helping me out and anyone else out and just kind of seeing like, here's how we make mistakes here, how we solve problems, uh, how we come across them. So I'm taking, uh, I thought there was a, a different way I wanted to try to do this, but there wasn't. So. Uh, I'm going to take my definition of my unlocked channels and I'm going to put the same thing here under locked channels. The only thing that's going to be changed is this keyable will be flas false lock will be true. And so let's take this thing that I ran here and let's run lock channels instead and make sure that I've saved this so that it updates. So let's just take these and run and now they're all locked and hidden. So let's make a so actually I have these, this is a Mel command, but let's see if I can, I'm going to edit this one. This is, so this is the Mel one that I got, but I want to, I'm going to do this, change it to Python. I'm going to play paste that. So this is lock channels. And then I'm going to edit, this is unlock channels. So I'm just going to take this probably more than I need in here. Um, it's weird that it did that. Let's do this. So it looks, I don't know why it looks like that, it's like that. But. So I'm just taking this thing that I do that runs the Python script and will run lock channels or unlock channels. And I'm, we'll come here to save all shells, make sure the shelf gets saved. So now we can just have fun. Oh, I unlocked them. Oh, look at that. I locked them. Unlock, lock, unlock, lock. All right, good times to be had by all. Let's just go ahead and unlock them for now. In fact, let's make sure, uh, select hierarchy. Let's make sure all of these are unlocked and ready to go. And just to be safe, I'm going to freeze transforms because node hips bind is a joint. Oh, that's right. It's all got skins attached to the sprinkles mesh group. So let's go. Let's, so I actually have, <laughs> this is one I'll need to work on at some point. Um, select hierarchy. I actually have, uh, freeze skinned joints L script. This would be a cool one to do, but it'll freeze all the transforms on these joints, even though they're skinned. So look at that genius. All right. So we're going to go to uh, create our rigged joints. And so the first thing I'm going to do is again, we're going to create a list selected joints uh, and then this one we'll call it joints uh, you know what I'm just gonna do I think I'm just gonna do this I don't want to do the same one do I um, I'm just call this joints equals eight PM LS select and true however in this one I also want to 
make sure I probably should have done the other one too but type equals joint so if we select something else we don't want it to be creating stuff in here um, so then I'm gonna go I mean I need a loop through the joints uh, oops comment loop joints and loop thought joints. Nice. Loop through joints. No, loop through the joints. Uh, run. Unlock channels just in case the, the channels are locked. Then I'm going to Place, find, with, rig. Um, then I'm going to create a new joint. with a new name. Uh, point and uh, we can actually parent snap to matching joint. Then parent to matching parent joint. Okay. So I have my joints selected and we're going to say for uh, J and T and joints uh, will be my loop. Python IML select the joint. And I'm not 100% sure why I was doing it. Oh, right. Select the joint, run unlock channels. Uh, let's copy and paste this just to make sure we get that right. And we're going to create a new joint name. Uh, equals so we're going to take the current joint name and we're going to replace uh, and here's where I'm going to use the format structure. Uh, I'm going to replace uh, comma quotes this comma, right? Joint name, uh, okay. So this is going to be dot format combined. So again, if I end up having to change this, I can make kind of a global change if I'm not using the word bind to and this one will be uh, format rig. Let's get that outside of the so it's going to replace the word uh, the text bind with the text rig in the new joint. Right. Oh, idiot. I suck at this so much. Okay. But this is so fascinating. All right, create a new joint with a new name. So we're still inside this loop. Uh, oh, shoot. 